Hello audience, how are you doing? I realised while rendering my last video, I forgot something. It's a ring. Inconsequential. You won't really ever use it. But I forgot it and this is a tutorial, so I will show you it. So, teleportation, activate! First teleportation destination is Havel. Right, we're going to try and kill Havel. First thing you want to do, take off your armour. Uh, you want to do this because rolling is uh, better than the armour because you'll die in one hit no matter what. So, roll, take off your armour, dual wheel, two hand, because your shield won't do anything either. And, yeah, so rolling and that's better. Right, my camera decided to pan down. Um, so, let's go. Right, first thing you want to do is run and do a jump roll in. Because he does attack you as you come in, as you've seen. Right, what you want to do with Havel is, be careful, just try and stay away from his attacks. Um, he can't change his direction mid-swing, so like, if he starts swinging there, that doesn't mean that's necessarily where he's going to hit, as it were. Like, if he sw starts swinging here, and then I move, he'll follow me. He does have a little bit of tracking. So just, just be patient, don't get greedy, stay behind him. When he does get low health, he does start doing double attacks where he'll attack and then instantly attack afterwards. Um, he doesn't do that until you get him a bit lower. So watch out for that. Don't don't be caught by that unprepared. Um, yeah, the, his most dangerous attack, I would say, other than the secondary attack of the double attack because it's harder to avoid it, would be his back hop attack because it's fat it will one shot you just like the rest but it's faster it, it's it comes out of nowhere right I just seen no uh, it's much faster I say don't, don't get greedy you're not meant to be killing him at this stage as you can see I'm taking very little off him I know I'm getting backstabs but two handing does increase the damage of your backstabs just a little Um, yeah, so. You want to be careful when he does this. It's like he's luring you. He, he, sometimes he does this. And then as you go near him, he'll just smash your face in. So I'll keep an eye out for that. So I'll just show you one hand a backstab if I get the chance here. Come on, Avil, be a cool bro. Be a guy. Be, be a guy? What? Be a cool guy. Trying to show the audience. 64. It's only 6 less damage. When you think I'm going to have to do like 10 or more backstabs to kill this shithead. Um, this is 10 of these will be an extra backstab. You know what I mean? That could save your life. So he does take a while. Um, but you will get a good ring. As you see there, he just did like a 180. Uh, luckily he missed me. But yeah, as you've seen, he did a 180 as he swung. You know what I mean? That could catch, that could kill you. Um, so, yeah, so watch out for things like that. Uh, yeah, This isn't the ring I'm talking about, but it is a really good ring. It increases your equip burden, and it'll give you 3,000 souls. So, uh, you want to you wanna get them. They're really good. As you can see, I've gone below half health. I'm being a bit more cautious because... This is where he starts doing the double strikes. Uh, he mainly only does them when he's two-handing. As you can see, he's a bit more relentless now as well. It's like he's realising he's gonna die. He's like, oh shit man, I gotta step up the game. So, you gotta play it safer. Right, try and stay in the middle because you don't want to be caught at the edge of the room. Uh, and killed by him. You don't want to be caught because, like I say, one slip up on Havel and it's just, it's just death. Right, so, yeah, don't, don't get greedy, don't. Just dodge around him, get a good old backstab. I, I usually do kill him. Um, 
without backstabs. I usually do just wait till he attacks and uh, then attack him. But um, your problem is if he's one-handed, you can't really do it because he blocks, as you've seen there. That was a perfect example. And this is safer. Um, if you do it from the front, though, he, you can kill him quicker. But there you go. Uh, we got Hap, we killed Havel, we've got his ring. And if you look... Um, right. Uh, Havel's memoir, whatever, I don't actually really tell you what it does. But if you look, uh, that increases my equip burden by 50%. That's what, that's what Havel's ring does. It's a 50% equip burden increase. That is immense. Um, that is just fantastic. As you can see, I can now full roll wearing the leather armor. So, teleportation, destination two. Whoosh. I've now successfully teleported. You can't teleport. That is a power only reserved for the McCann man. This was the ring I missed. This is where the Black Knight was. He was all like here. And I ran up, tried back summoning, hit him. And, um, yeah, so... I did forget this ring, it isn't very good. Um, it's, uh, when you do, it boosts your defense when your HP, re when your HP gets pretty low. I'll put it on, just because. So, yeah, but, um, not that great. But, it's, yeah, it's, you may as well get it, um, if you want to get the achievement for getting all rings. Is there an achievement for getting all rings? I don't think there is anymore. I think they took it out. Um, there wasn't demons, souls, I forget. I apologize. But, now we're here. We have to teleport back. Whoosh. Right, teleportation successful. And, uh, we've got Havel's Ring. As you can see, level 14, Havel's Ring. I did it with only my charges on, but that's only because, well, you know, if I just couldn't be bothered taking them off. Didn't use any items, just my sword. Uh, you can do it, so... <coughs> it is hard, though. Uh, if you can't do it, there's no bother. Um, you're not really meant to be able to do it at this level. So, if you've done it, good on you. If you have it, it's no bother. Um, the ring is just quite helpful at this stage. Right, you want to come up here? Right, that guy will shoot at you, so you want to get him first. Make sure you get all of these guys. Right. Now there's going to be a big guy in here. He looks scarier than he is. Right. As you can see he's big. He's, he's a big guy. And he looks scary. And he's got a big mace and it looks scary. And a shield that's bigger than you. But, he isn't actually that hard. He hits hard, he will hurt you, if he catches you. But the easiest thing is, like like Havel, um, to a different degree, you can't backstab this guy. But what you want to do is, just, get just block his attack, keep behind him, give him, a, give him a poke in the bum. I'm the king of prison, I'm used to poking people in the bum. Oh wait, I've already said that I don't do that. Oh, let not the secrets. I say just... Same with most bosses. Don't get greedy. Just hit... When you can, if you can't hit... It's no bother, like I say, look. Easy enough. Tower shield, tight night shard. Tower shield, um, 13 weight. Uh, I, I will never use this shield. I will, 30 strength? There's no fucking way I'm not going to use it. It's not a very versatile shield. It's not. It's It does have like a better defense. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's guard break reduction, as you can see. It's 72, it's 72 minus 55. So it is better. People won't break your guard very easily at all, but... For that weight and strength requirement. If you're building a strength character, you'll have the strength requirement. But the weight just... It just isn't worth it. It's just not. Right. We've got a Firekeeper's Soul. Upgrade our Flask again. And you're like, 
But Robert, no, we have to run all the way back to the Firelink Shrine. And, and I'm like, no, audience, fucking just stop asking so many questions and wait till I show you what I'm showing you. Right. <coughs> we go down here. Long elevator ride. Oh, music. <laughs> I was slow reacting Muzak, but it happened. Right. Filing shrine. Oh yeah. Right. Talk to this guy. Yeah, just talk to this guy. Just this guy sells you miracles. I actually forgot to mention. I am sorry. No. Uh, up until this stage, though, if you've been following my advice, uh, you shouldn't so really had the uh, very well the souls to talk to this guy, you know, don't bother with it. Um, he's a dick. Um, yeah, so. If you haven't been this guy yet, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, sells your heal. I'm not going to buy it yet because I'm saving up the Come souls again. I get. Yeah, so, there we go. Don't forget, saving up for 20,000. Got 8,000 now since I killed Havel. So run, jump! Acrobatics. Now with that, rest there. <coughs> if you have used any uh, Estus flasks, that'll bring you back up to the original 10. Always useful. Talk to her. Upgrade your Estus flask. You now have a level 2 Estus flask. That'll be, for this level, practically a full heal. So yeah, we're, we're doing good. Right. Normally you would only get the, the plus 1 there, because most people wouldn't normally bother with the ghost thing. Uh, especially early on. If you're just starting the game and you don't know about it. So yeah. So. And now we have this shortcut. Which is always good. So yeah. Du -bu -bu music. Du -du 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 -du. I like doing the music. And my guy is so happy. Right. Facing the wrong way. Love that. Right, now. Right, well, um, that's about the end of time for this video. I did miss one yesterday, so I will be doing another one directly after this. So, come back soon for more Dark Souls. Um, or instantly, if I've uploaded it by the time you're watching this. Um, yeah, uh... I did miss yesterday, and I might miss tomorrow, uh, I'm pretty busy, um, but if I do miss a day, I will release, uh, an extra, extra episode or two to, to compensate for the days that I miss. So I, I miss yesterday, I'll put up two today. Uh, so, you know, you always have the Dark Souls videos coming out. Um, I apologise for when I do miss them, um. You know, things get in the way sometimes, you know, real life and all. Uh, so, yeah, so, I'll see you at the next video. Oh, no! I've accidentally activated the elevator. Bye, audience!